y'all the part two to my natural hair update, y'all, right? And I really didn't know there was gonna be a part two to my natural hair update because I didn't really know that I was really gonna do what the fuck the title says, and I'm not lying. Yo bitch did exactly what the fuck the title says. Yo girl, Big Chuck, y'all. And when I say Big Chuck, like I know last couple of videos ago, okay, um, I mentioned the fact that I done cut my hair and I cut off like six inches, bitch. Yo bitch went damn near bald this time. I cut all of my hair the fuck off. And it was literally a very random, very spur of the moment decision. Um, and it was something that I felt and had wanted to, to do in my spirit for the last couple of years. Just never did it. And finally just woke up one morning a couple days ago and said, fuck it. YOLO up in this motherfucker and I'm finna cut my damn hair. And I got on Periscope for a little bit uh, with y'all to ask y'all what you guys thought. Many of you guys were saying, don't fucking do it. And uh, I promise y'all, as soon as I got off the scope, I went right to my drawer, grabbed my scissors, and got to snip snipping, okay? Now, a lot of you guys were asking me uh, on the, the other Periscope chats that I've had since then, and on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, whether I shot video of myself actually big chopping, and I absolutely fucking did. So believe me when I say, as you're looking at me here with my damn wig on, you're gonna see me cutting my actual natural hair. I just happened to be shooting with a wig on today and thought I would shoot my intro because I just happened to be you know shooting today okay so uh you will see my hair in about two seconds getting chopped the fuck off and my reaction to me chopping all of it and i mean all of it off so check it out all right y'all so as promised here is when i actually big chopped on some random ass shit so i went ahead and sectioned my hair and as you guys can see this is the first snip on my damn head and boom look at all that damn hair i done cut off so i figured shit i already started the shit i might as well go ahead and finish the motherfucker so we're gonna go ahead and keep it going so the next little section was just a tad bit easier as I went along. I was just grabbing whatever the hell sections I could get my hands on, especially because my mirrors are kind of weird in the bathroom. So I was trying to look at the mirror and also look at the viewfinder to make sure you guys could see what I was doing. But as you guys can clearly see, I just got to, to work and just went to town with the damn scissors. No real rhyme or reason as to how I was going to do it. I just did it. Another thing you're gonna notice throughout the process of this video and the whole Big Chop situation is the fact that as I was cutting, I was getting like happier and happier. It was actually one of the most freeing things I've ever experienced and I just kept going. Like I just could not stop snipping in my damn head. It was just a relief for me to get rid of all this daggone hair. So pretty much at this point, you're gonna see me cut the last little bit of hair off and it's gone, y'all, it's gone. And y'all, I was sitting there for a good second, as you're gonna be able to see it here right now. And I was like dumbfounded by the fact that I actually went through with it. But clearly you see I have a big smile on my face. So this was actually something that I'm happy that I did. After that, I pretty much just chopped the rest of the hair and tried to get it as even as I possibly could. So you're gonna see here in the next clip that it's actually a lot lower than what you're looking at right now because I actually got it as low as I possibly could without having barbershop clippers. What's up, y'all? Okay, I know, I know, I know. Y'all probably like, bitch, what the fuck did you just do and why? Okay, so here's the deal. Y'all, if y'all have been following my natural hair journey for a while or my hair journey in general, I have really always talked about the fact that I've toyed with the notion of big chopping. Um, you guys know my last natural hair update, I actually did chop off six inches off my hair. And I know y'all probably like, damn bitch, you chopped off a whole hell of a lot of hair. You had a whole hell of a lot of hair to begin with, and I did. However, your girl was tired of messing with my hair, okay? I'm tired of the detangling process. I'm tired of the shampoo process and the detangling thereafter, and then all the other juices and berries and nut creams and fucking sperm. You gotta putting your motherfucking hair to get the shit to work and function. Like I said, I've toyed with the notion of actually doing a big chop as in cutting all of my hair off, which you guys clearly see that I've done. And disregard the demeanor because your girl decided to do this first thing in the damn morning. I just did a hot oil treatment on my hair yesterday and used all these different products and shit and woke up this morning like, bitch, I don't want to do this no more. Now don't get me wrong, just because I cut my hair, okay, doesn't mean I'm not gonna take care of it and maintain it and try to um, you know of course promote healthy hair 
that's going to be a huge component or part of this whole journey. But what I can tell you is based off of me having done this random ass big chop, woke up this morning and said, fuck it, I'm finna do this shit. I really highly doubt that I'm going to look to grow out my hair. I really don't. I really, really think that I'm going to keep my hair this short. Um, it makes it a lot easier for wigs. I don't have to go through getting it cornrowed. I don't have to go through detangling. I can use an actual brush, like something very similar to my hubby's brush. And I don't have to worry about doing all the bullshit. The, the only thing I'm going to be focusing on is of course making sure that I'm doing my hot oil treatments and using the different things that I can do to get my hair and keep my hair healthy. But other than that, I very highly, and this is just me talking now after having just chopped off all this motherfucking hair, let me show you how much my black ass chopped off. That's And there's more in my bathroom. I just picked up the biggest glop from my counter and just kept it moving. Okay. So, um, yeah, y'all, I cut off, and it's all natural. I mean, there's not a bit of relaxed hair in there. Y'all know I cut off the other shit and cut off like five, six inches. And so it was just a matter of time before I went ahead and just did the whole thing. So my whole head is chopped off. I didn't brush through it, really. I cut it and then came back on camera so that I could show y'all. And here's what it is. My hair is short. I'm probably going to go to a barber um, and have them taper me off a little bit. And um, I'm going to let it grow in just a tad before I probably do that just so I have an even, nice cut. I took some scissors these are my hair scissors y'all have seen me use and I just got the chopping and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all it was probably the most freeing thing that I have ever done like I'm close to wanting to shave it completely honestly on some like amber rose on crack type levels but like the dark skin bitch you know what I'm saying the dark skin version but I'm not there yet you never know we gonna see um but yeah y'all in true Aries fashion and in true Sandy fashion your girl did some sporadic ass shit this is it this is it I highly doubt I'm going to grow my hair out in fact I'm almost thinking I'm gonna go shorter um, it just really depends I might experiment with coloring my hair we might see I'm gonna just let it grow in you guys know my edges is always a struggle they are definitely thicker than they were before I cut off some of them too doing this so I'm gonna let them grow back in hair grows back and that's the most important thing but the biggest and most important thing outside of that is that I'm happy and I'm sick and tired of doing this tang detangling shit and I ain't doing that shit anymore y'all ain't ever gonna see me with long natural hair anymore I, I mean and I can guarantee that but it's just, I mean, and I, and I don't know, maybe, maybe in the future I might grow it out, but it's very highly unlikely because I'm not going through this again. I, I, kudos to those of y'all who do it on a continued basis. Uh, kudos to y'all, but I'm not that bitch. So comment down below. Let me know what your experience was when you big chopped, if you big chopped, if you're debating on big chopping. Have fun, do it, fuck it, YOLO. It, it grows back, it's fucking hair. It's not that big of a fucking deal, okay? Another thing is, please don't let anybody discourage you from what it is that you wanna do with your hair, okay? People take this whole natural hair shit so fucking serious and it's just, I mean, at the end of the day, we are already put in a category so damn much by everybody else in society. Why do we feel like we need to label ourselves even further? Even though I know there's hair textures and hair types, and I am curious about what my hair texture is, and I mentioned that in my part one of this video, so make sure you guys check it out down below, and you'll see what my hair texture is wet, because I know some of you guys actually wanted to see my hair wet to determine whether you really think I'm a 4C, because some of you guys actually thought I wasn't. But when it comes to the whole natural hair journey and all that comes along with it do what it is that works best for you okay whatever it is that makes you feel most comfortable honestly I'm just gonna be real with y'all was one of the best decisions I could have ever made and I'm absolutely loving it and I have zero regrets so do whatever works best for you so anyway you guys already know what to do make sure you guys thumbs up this video for me having the fucking guts to do this shit okay and showcasing it to y'all okay as crazy as I look because that was literally right when I fucking got out of bed and got off Periscope with y'all okay and you already know what to do as always follow me on Twitter twitter.com forward slash socialize Sandy hit me up on my Facebook fan page or my Pinterest page those links are down below hit me up on my blog the socialitelife.blogspot.com and hit me up on Instagram Periscope and Snapchat at socialite Sandy S-A-N-D-E and you already know I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.